we had a toaster that we were going to throw away because it was starting to fail. And I decided I was going to take it apart, see what's inside, and have a little fun with it. So on three separate occasions, I made some videos as I started to learn different things I could do with this disassembled toaster. Uh, so uh, that's what I'm showing tonight. And let me share my screen and I will show you those videos. Pretty cold out too, so hopefully it works. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Oh yeah, it worked. Oh man. Yes. Hog rotten potatoes. Things coming in handy. I ended up not publishing one video because I was getting such bad analog audio interference. I was doing some experimenting here and just put a circuit together that would amplify that so I could track down what it was. And in that other video I was making brownies so I'm using the same pan. And you'll notice something odd start to happen. So there's the analog interference. After posting this video to a couple of small scientific communities, I was contacted by someone from NASA who said that it could possibly be some sort of interference with satellite signals. And I think it's absurd, but he even said that it could possibly be breaking quantum mechanics. And that part of the video is really what made him think that and say that I could cause a black hole or become antimatter or some something like that absurd. But I think it was just fun to make this and especially this next part you'll see. If I quickly interrupt the electrical signal, it completely solidifies and I get these plastic glass-like figures. It's almost like free, randomly shaped 3D printing. Well, thank you for watching my video and uh, hopefully it was entertaining and maybe you even learned something from it. As you can see, uh, the NASA person was wrong. I am s still doing more videos like that and I have not become antimatter or created a black hole.